now, here's Terry. Hey, the power in saying no is you must say no because God always says yes to what you say yes to. And many things you tolerate, get by with, put up with because you say, oh, it doesn't matter. Who are you kidding? See, one of the first keys of spiritual transformation is you've got to see your life is not working. But most of us are so busy into pretense because it actually it looks as good as anybody else. But have you looked at what other people have? That's not too good. Is it what you want? Is it how you want to live? Or what if you think that you can't have anything else? How could you dream something that isn't possible? How could you really imagine it if it wasn't yours? How could you deep down inside your heart desire to be loved if that kind of love wasn't possible? How could you deep down inside desire to be able to, to, to whether it's travel or to experience or to meet people or to, to just, just live like, like out of the, the glory and the joy of being alive? If it wasn't yours, therefore, you've got to say no to something. So take a look in your life at what you're tolerating. We're all tolerating something. See, we're all tolerating something. We're all putting up with something, you know? What we've got to do is be willing to say, this is how I choose to live now, and you better walk out on how you were living better walk out on it. And see, a lot of people don't pay attention to the way they're living because they're afraid if they see the way they're living, they won't know what they're going to do about it. And they well, after all, I need this because I'm, I'm got to survive. I need this. And if you look at what you're selling out to, it's always material things. Always has to do with your food and your stupid house and your clothes. is, you know, what will people think? Sure, people will be upset when you start to live. Why? Because they see how bad they are off in comparison to you. That's a healthy sign. <laughs> healthy sign. See, you want people to go into upset around you. Don't worry about it. It's their reactive mind going nuts because they realize how they're selling out on it. How dare you have that? Who do you think you are? See, I know who I am. I am the Son of God. See? I am a sinless being. Now, I don't remember it all the time, but every time I forget, I've got an opportunity in the next instant to choose again who I am. I can forgive myself, because God forgives me. Nobody's, nobody's judged me. And then I've got to offer that to you. See, I've got to see you as sinless and pure and perfect and forgive you instantly, because you've never hurt me. You've never taken anything from me. I've got to say no to the kind of life I don't want to live. See, I've got to walk out on it. And now I'll tell you, people are going to react to you. Good. Shake them up. See, but most people are so caught up in, see, that's, that's a problem I have with label, like Christian or Jew or Buddhist or him. Yeah, I'm a disciple of Christ, but I think the only one that could call me a Christian may be God itself, because I would be known by the fruit that I bear. I would be known by the results I produce. You know, it's like, as soon as you call yourself humble, you're not. It's kind of like one of those things. And it's really only a, la a label given to a level of awareness. It is not a label given to a club member. And it's a trouble if you think you're a Jew. You hang on to that. You know, a person will say, oh, I'm a Jew. I got to hang on. I can't get this message. People come up to me and say, oh, Terry, I watch all the time, but I'm Jewish. What do I care? <laughs> you know, it's like there's a, there, see, in each of our backgrounds, there's a wonderful tradition. There's wonderful family. There's good stuff. But there's also, in every religion of the world, there is a negativity. There is the, there, there is the, 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 the ignorance that's there. We've got to get beyond religion. We must. <laughs> See, because 
it's like if I look at you and I, and I wonder what group you're in, whether I'm going to love you or not, or if I do love you, I'll love you so you come into my group. I thought, what am I talking about? It's insanity. So what I want, all I care about is experiencing of God's love, and I will be known by the fruit that I bear. I will be known who I am by the presence that I am. That's what's important to me. See, that's what Jesus came to teach me. Now, you and I may be reading a different book or getting a different message, but it's fine. I like the message I'm getting, and that's the one I want. Because it works for me. It gets rid of the competition. It gets rid of the scarcity and the fear and the judgment. I don't need judgment. It's like, wipe that judgment off myself. I don't want that on me. See? It's so that when the power in saying no, you've got the power to say yes to anything you want, but turn your back on what you don't want today.